हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल दिस इज साइडेंटल व्लॉग्स एंड टुडेज टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ऑन अ क्लिनिकल टॉपिक एंड दैट इज ड्राई सॉकेट सो अर्लियर आल्सो टू इयर्स बैक आई हैड मेड अ वीडियो ऑन ड्राई सॉकेट बट दिस वीडियो इज गोना बी लिटिल बिट डिफरेंट सो ऑफन वी एनकाउंटर दैट इवन आफ्टर फुल प्रिकॉशंस एंड गिविंग प्रायर एंटीबायोटिक्स टू द पेशेंट एंड ऑल द प्रोटोकॉल्स स्टेरिलाइजेशन एवरीथिंग still the patient comes with a third molar extraction or any six or any traumatic extraction or any transvolar extraction patient comes to you after 3 to 4 days or 7 days complaining that the tooth is paining severely and he will tell you that have you left any tooth a broken root inside the socket or not so you will get tensed and suddenly you will take an x ray and you won't see anything inside the socket and you will tell the patient ki okay tell take the medicines for 2 3 days and again it will reduce but still the pain doesn't subside what may be the cause of this <coughs> so we all know the oral microflora consists of lot of microorganisms starting from candida albicans to streptococcus to staph so basically in the tooth socket whenever the tooth why did you extract the tooth first you have to see that if mostly the tooth is extracted because of caries or mobility so mainly in the caries tooth you will get lot of microorganisms like streptococcus Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pyogenes, and Actinobacillus. So these are forming the various complexes inside the periodontium and also in the alveolar socket, which is lining the tooth. Okay, so that is known as alveolar bone proper. So whenever we are extracting the tooth, and if the tooth is infected, you have to do curettage of the socket. That is very much important because all the granulation tissue is lying. in the periapical region as well on the periphery so curettage with a curette is very much important and induces some bleeding is very much important after extraction of a grossly decayed tooth or a infected tooth with pus often what we do ki we try a lot and uh, we extract the tooth using elevators forceps and wavik james elevators but and we are satisfied okay chalo daat nikal gaya ab must give the medicines theek ho jayega lekin what we forget is to curettage so that was uh, that is always uh, advised ki hum hamesha curettage kare socket ko and induce some bleeding and we often forget to compress the socket nicely see if you don't compress the socket what will happen is the periphery bone of the tooth the alveolar bone what will be there it will be lying there as a sharp spur and whenever the gingiva will grow over it whenever patient will touch with this finger or the tongue the tooth will start paining so that is a very common problem which is occurring so we have to do two things just to prevent any kind of complications that is to compress the socket and to do curettage ab now what to do if the patient is already having the dry socket so what you have to see whether the socket is dry really dry or not and the superficial surface will be covered with some kind of pseudo membranous yellowish slough so when there will be yellowish slough what you will do is you have to slightly irrigate the socket and you have to induce bleeding i will never do all these things without giving proper local anesthesia you have to give local anesthesia and start irrigating the socket again nicely with saline first then you can also use betadine if you want you can also use chlorhexidine so these three things you nicely irrigate the socket then you induce some amount of bleeding from the socket by the use of a very good sterilized curettage and just curate it properly induce some bleeding then after that what you have to do you have to take some zinc oxide eugenol in a glass slab and some liquid eugenol liquid powder and liquid zinc oxide uh, powder and eugenol you have to mix in a cotton and uh, make it like a soft ball and insert in the socket so what will happen why i am doing this because when you apply the zinc oxide eugenol inside the socket it will provide an obtundent effect obtundent effect means an anesthetic effect it will a uh, cause and patient will feel some kind of relaxation after uh, you place it so every time uh, all 6 to 7 hours it will have a cooling effect and the patient won't have any kind of pain so that is very much necessary and with time what will happen within 2 to 3 days the lesion will start healing on its own and uh, whatever cotton or uh, whatever roll you had put inside it will come out of its uh, own so you need not need to worry after placing the cotton ki uske woh gingiva grow ho jayega aisa kuch nahi hota so these are a few methods other methods which you can always use is you can always use 
septodont uh, one product is there alveolar gel which you can use after any kind of traumatic extraction so that is a very good product useful product and you can buy online everywhere it is available alveolar gel so you place it inside the socket very minute amount so that will decrease the chances of dry socket <coughs> plus all the methods of tooth extraction you should try to use burr as minimum as possible you should try to try to extract the tooth without using of any kind of bone cutting which is sometimes difficult but you often we encounter these kind of cases in our clinic so try to extract the tooth luxate it properly then extract it if the tooth root is broken then obviously you have to cut some amount, some amount of bone so that's all for today's video i hope you like it along with that i will make a separate video on what antibiotics you should give on in dry socket patients thank you